Boom! Chesh Luja! What's up, people? Hola! Vigos that here. Welcome to another episode. First of all, Merry Christmas! The Soy Shviant, and uh, as you can see, we are in the Christmas spirit already. I don't know if you guys saw my latest video. I took a DNA test where my results showed that I was like 60% European. If I want to remain true to my ancestry and if I want to be taken seriously by this uh, nice European people that have welcomed me into their continent, I should be able to pass a Europe, Europe history test. I actually want to invite you guys to do the test with me. You're going to see it on the screen. Just select your answer. If you get it right, you have a point, right? At the end of the test, out of 60 questions, you're gonna have your, what's your result? Please write down your answer in the comment box below. Let's see what happens. Let's start now. Okay, which Roman emperor built the Segovia aqueduct? Marcus Aurelius, Trajan, Claudius, Hadrian, I, I think it was Claudius. Oh, Trajan! Oh, cool. Which of the following is a cave located in France that contains outstanding examples of prehistoric art? I think it's La Queue. Yes, La Queue. Oh, I don't know how I remember that, but something in the back of my mind gave me the answer. Ah, by the way, I swear I haven't seen this, this I haven't done this before, okay? I, possibly you'll notice, by the way, I failed miserably. Which of these battles involved Huns? Chancellorsville, Ch Chalons, Carcilly, Canny, I, I really don't know. I'm gonna say Canny, I have no idea. Chalons, I don't even know what, what Hun, Hun is. What conspiracy was a plot to kill King James I and to blow up England's parliament. Gunpowder plot. That was just logic to me. In which year did Moldova gain its independence? Pfft, must have been 1981, right after, of course, communism fell. Which of these people once ruled Norway? The Vikings. Yes, Vikings. There you go. What is the name of the first of the ancient Roman roads? Via Appia, via Aurelia, via Ignatia, via Augusta. It must be via Augusta or via... Via Augusta. Via Appia? What is that? I've never even heard of it. It's the first and most famous of the ancient Roman ro roads. What mysterious disease was an epidemic that struck England and continental Europe in 1485, 08, 17, and then disappeared? Disa influenza didn't color. Oh, I didn't have enough time for that one. Probably if I would have had a little bit more time to think, other than those 10 seconds, I probably I would have tried to guess Sweating Cygnus, because the, all the other ones I think are somewhat still around in some corner of the world. What is the name of the earliest European vernacular epic? Epic of God. I know this one. It's not, I think it's Beowulf. Beowulf, yes. I've heard about it. When did the Irish famine take place? The Irish famine. The Irish famine. 1845. Yes! I don't know why I took a guess on that one, but... Which European ruler was known as the Hammer? European L Louis the Pius, Clovis, Charles Martel, Pop Pippin... Uh, Louis the Pius. No. Charles Mart Martel. Martel. Napoleon's Milan decree put into place a trade blockade aimed at which country? I know this one. It was uh, Great Britain. Yes. Who introduced Christianity to Ireland? St. Patrick's. He has a day. When was the Council of Europe founded? This was after the war, so it must have been 1949. Yes. Who were known as the Apostles of the Slavs? Oh, cool that. I don't know this one. I'm just... What name sounds Slav? Merar, Gilgar, no. Gervasi, no. The Cosmos. Cyril. Ah, oh, I was about to choose Cyril. What was the preeminent European intellectual movement of the 17th and 18th century? Oh, that was Enlightenment. Yes. Who was the founder of the Ascania dynasty? Ascania dynasty. Otto? Hmm, Albert. Who was the first European to land in North America? Oh, this one was, uh, uh, I think it was Leif, Leif Erikson, because Columbus was in uh, the Caribbean and South America, okay? Okay, who was known as the Maid of Orleans? Eleanor? Theres Lizu. I don't know, I just took a guess. In which year did the great smug of London occur? Oh, this was in, in, the, in the Crown. This was 1952. Yes, this was in the Crown. What is the name of the British art historian who was also a Soviet spy? Oh, I know this one. He was um, Anthony Blunt. Yes, Anthony Blunt. What does the term cyst refer to in the prehistoric Europe? It was, it's a coffin or burial place, and I will tell you why. Okay, I know, I know because I read it in some random stuff, actually, some years ago. What incident happened during a football or soccer match for Americans? In England in 1989, 
the Hillsborough is, uh, I don't have enough time to answer this. Hillsborough disaster. Who became the first king of a united Italy in 1861? The first king was in Victor Emmanuel. Who was the architect who rebuilt London after the Great Fire of 1666? His name was Christopher Wren. Wren. Yes. Hey, I've lived in England six years. Which battle resulted in Christianity as the official religion of the Roman Empire? This was the Battle of... I really don't know. Polentia? I see, I was going to choose Polentia. I was wrong anyways. What was the name of Franz Ferdinand Assassin? Obviously not Lee Harvey Oswald. It was... Um, Gavrilo Princip. Just because I just took a guess, you know, not, it cannot be Lee Harvey Oswald, of course. It cannot be Edgar Allan Poe, of course. In which year did the Children's Crusade take place? Take to place. Uh, Children's Crusade. Good. I don't know. I don't really know. In the 1300? No. You see? 1212. Which of the following is a language isolated of southern, southwestern Europe? Basque. Of course. In Spain, they have their own language. Very complicated. Very weird. If you go to País Vasco. Which is the oldest university in Europe? Ha! This is a test. You, you would be inclined to choose Oxford, but it's not. It's the University of Bologna. Yep. Which revolution dethroned King James II of England? The October Revolution? Glorious Revolution? Brabant Revolution? I'm going to say the Glorious Revolution. Ah, ha, ha, I was going to choose right. Still, I was taking a guess there. I didn't really know it. Who was the first woman to be elected to the British Parliament? Um... I don't know. Some Mary Hamilton? She sounds pretty... I was going to choose Mary Hamilton. Constance Markievicz. Was she Polish descent of something? Or I don't know, Slavic descent? What is the name of the queen who led the revolt against Roman rule? Anne. Wasn't it Queen Anne? Bodica? Buditsa? Budica? What system of education originated in Italy during the 13th and 14th century? Humanism. Yes. What is the name of the megalithic monument located on the Salzburg Plain? Very simple. Stonehenge. I've been there. Which battle marked the end of the Teutonic Order expansion at the Baltic Sea? Ha! The Battle of Grunwald. I know that, my beautiful Poles. Give me five. What comprised settled the dispute between Pope Calixtus II and Henry V? Treaty of San Germano, Declaration of Rennes, Treaty of Treaty. I'm going to say Concordat of Worms. <laughs> I just took a guess because I saw the word warm. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Europeans. I am butchering your history. Uh, who formed this secret society called Young Italy? Uh, Jesus, they all look very... I'm going to say... Francesco Crispi. No. Giuseppe Manzini. Through what country did Lady Godiva ride? Oh, that's in simple. England. Lady Godiva. What disease was the probable cause of the Black Death? It was um, smallpox. No, it was the plague. It was the plague, of course. Who was proclaimed the emperor of Germany in 1871? Was it Rudolf? Rudolf I? Oh, no, William. When did Switzerland officially gain its independence? I I don't know as much as uh, from about Switzerland, but it was early on. So I'm going to say 16... Uh, I was even early! I knew that was very early because it surprised me. I, I read about it um, you know, on the internet or one of those things when I was living in Austria. Who called the Albigensian Al 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 Crusade against the Cathari? No idea. Some Pope. Pope Boniface VIII. No, Pope Innocent. Who was known as the Iron Chancellor? The Iron Chancellor, not the Iron Lady. Uh, was it, was it Churchill? Churchill? Otto von Bismarck? No idea. What was the wind scale fire incident? Ah, I heard about this. This was actually a nuclear accident. <laughs> yeah, you see? In, in 57 at the Windscale Nuclear Factory. What is English Admiral Sir Francis Drake famous for? Oh, he was, um, sir, uh, I think he circumnavigated the globe. Yes! <laughs> Woo! I don't think it counted. I think I ran out of time. Good. When did the Chernobyl disaster take place? Yeah, this was 1986. Which of the following are archaic humans named for the valley of Germany where their fossils were first discovered? Uh, those were the Neanderthals. Yeah. Which treaty brought an end to the 80 years war between Spain and the Dutch? Yes, I've, I've, I, I know this one. It's not Magna Carta. I think it's 
Treaty of Tradition. Oh no, Peace of Westphalia. I thought I knew this one. Which terms refers to the movement of so called barbarian peoples in Europe between 500 and 1000? This is, uh, this is called the, uh, the Migration Period, which is also known as the, as the Middle Ages. Yes! <laughs> I knew about this! The Industrial Revolution began in which European country? In Great Britain. Which treaty divided the Carolingian Empire? Oh, I have no idea. No idea. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to choose this one. It's treaty of Stolbol. Stolbobo. I did not know that one. What country was Vasco da Gama from? Vasco da Gama. Da Gama. This sounds like a Portuguese name. Oh, yes! There you go! Which is the extinct wild ox of Europe? No, I don't know. Banteg? Gaur? Kopri? Gaur? Gaur? Auroch. I didn't know that one. The sinking of which of the following ships is considered the greatest maritime disaster of all time? I know this one. It's not Titanic. It's the Wilhelm Gulfslof. There you go. Did I, did I answer in time? Did it count it as, a, as my a good answer? I don't think so. Look, it said time's up. Good day. I've, I've answered already like three good ones like that. It's, gonna, it's not going to be counted. I'm going to add them in the end. With whom did Scott from the Alt... Uh, who, uh, they formed the Alt Alliance. The Scots. I don't know. Did, I don't know. With the Netherlands? The France. Didn't I know that one. Which European states united to form the Union of Lublin? Uh, Poland and Lithuania. What other name is the Civil Code of 1804 known by in France? Code uh, of Napoleon. No, I cannot be Napoleon. Yes, it was Napoleon. What was the series of civil war wars in France between 1648 and 1653? Uh, I think this was called uh, Siege of La Rochelle. No, the Fronde. What was the original name of Constantinople? Uh, you see, this is a tricky one. It's not Istanbul, obviously, it's what it's now. It's actually Byzantium, Byzantium, because of the Byzantine Empire. That's it! I... <laughs> I failed miserably. Oh, Kurde. Jesus, look at that. 32 out of 60. Oh, wow. Okay, that's uh, that's like 50%. I would not pass that exam. They would not, they would not give me European citizenship. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, well, okay. I tried my best. Uh, okay, let's wrap up. Boom! That's all, guys. That's the end of the episode. I hope you liked it. What's your score? Please let us know. Write it down. What's your score? Uh, did you pass the exam? Uh, and also, please tell us where you're from, okay? Your score and give us the, the, the country that you're, for, that you're from. Um, I really enjoyed it. I just wanted to uh, try my best at this, you know? Like, it is not true. In the Dominican Republic, we do learn about European history, but it's never as in-depth. Um, and of course, last time I took any European history was probably like 20 plus years ago. If you liked it, once again, uh, share this uh, video with your friends. Thank you for watching. And uh, once again, Merry Christmas and I'll see you on another episode. Adios.